Hey guys, thanks a lot for joining me. Today's review is on some new drugstore eyeshadow quads. Yay, these are from Neutrogena and they are called Nourishing Longwear Eyeshadow. I think I mentioned the Coco Mauve quad in a haul that I did over on my other channel and then more recently I picked up this quad in Classic Nude. These do claim to have a built-in primer and I don't know if I were just using these blindly and hadn't been told that if that was would be something I would definitely pick up on. You know, I, I think these are nicely textured eyeshadows shadows. You know, they're really soft. They're easy to work with, but I don't know if I would say, oh, there's primer in there, you know? I think that's a claim that they're making because these seem to be long-wearing eyeshadows, but um, if you're used to using primers all the time, you might want to continue to do so, especially if you've got oily eyelids. Um, my eyelids are not especially oily, and I have used these without the primer. I'm wearing them without the primer today, um, and they did wear for me all day. I think the claim is 12 hour wear and personally I noticed that the colors might have faded a little bit but not to the extent to where I felt the look was totally changed or that I saw any creasing. These are really really creamy soft eyeshadows from the drugstore. There are some drugstore shadows that you'll put a brush into or you'll swatch them with your finger and they're hard as a rock. You know it's hard to get product off. You feel the need to kind of scrub back and forth to actually pick something up. These are not like that at all. They just have a really nice velvety texture. I can't quite say enough good about that. There are some shadows where they might kick up a little extra shadow, you know, when you um, place your brush into the product, but I really haven't felt like I've been too careful with my application of these products, and I have never noticed fallout under my eyes. Everything in here is actually um, kind of a shimmery satin finish, so I went and I picked up Classic Nude. I thought there were two matte shades in here. Turns out um, they are only really matte at a glance in the product. They actually do have a little bit of a satiny finish when you swatch them out. I'm not saying they look overly shimmery, shiny when you put them on the lids. They don't. Um, I mean, I think they could maybe pass for matte, but they're not true, true matte eyeshadows. First off, this quad in Classic Nude, it has um, kind of a shimmery peach this buttery cream type color that's kind of a satin finish, a shimmery, very light taupe, and then a deep brown satin finish. And this buttery shade that I mentioned, that does not swatch wonderfully. It actually did apply pretty well to my lids, I thought. Then this other one is in Coco Mauve. This was the first one I gravitated toward. You've got, um, I wouldn't venture to say rose gold because I don't think it's quite warm enough, but it is kind of like a rosy taupe, a champagne color, um, a taupe with a hint of lilac in it, then a deep kind of plummy brown. I really, really love the shades in this quad. To show you my demo how I use the classic nudes, um, I just used the sponge tip applicator, applied the buttery cream shade all over my lids, then I used the light taupe in the crease and kind of blended that out with a bare brush as well. Went back to the cream and used that as a highlight under my brow. Then I added some of the dark brown into my crease just to intensify that a bit. I also used the sponge tip applicator to apply some of that brown um, just on the outer part of my lid. Then I went on with some liquid liner. I used a little bit of a brightening cream liner in my lower inner rim and then went back to dark brown, tied that in with the outer wing a little bit it and then kind of blended the brown and the taupe for a smudgy liner all across the lower lash line. This is a quad that I think would be a fabulous thing for a person who is just starting out with makeup or maybe, you know, a teen girl, you want to get her something that's not going to be too intense. They're very easy to blend. They don't generate a lot of fallout. And even though, like I said, they're not super dramatic, they still show up. You know, I remember some of the first eyeshadows I ever had and I felt like, gosh, do you always have to work this hard? to make an eyeshadow just show up on your eye. Well, there's something to be said for using subtle eyeshadows when you're just starting out. I mean, it's also, it shouldn't be that hard. So I think this is a really easy quad to work with. This is gonna give you a little bit deeper look, a little more smoky, but still, um, you know, a very easy to work with quad as well, the Coco Mauve, and it has some beautiful shades in there. Even without a primer, I thought these applied well and had pretty impressive intensity. Um, so there is a product maybe you could cut out if you feel like you can get away without a primer, but definitely I think a drugstore eyeshadow product success here. So thank you guys so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. Bye.